On behalf of Michael and Ileana, I welcome all of you to this very joyous occasion, the day in which they pledge their love to one another, to do so publicly, and to give thanks for the sacrament of marriage that they are about to enter into. Father Rollheiser says that a good marriage is like a warm fireplace. It warms not just the two that are involved in the sacrament, but everyone who's privileged to be in their presence. A good marriage is like a warm fireplace. It is written that when children find true love, parents find true joy. Mark Twain over a hundred years ago observed that in order to get the full value of joy, you must have somebody to divide it with. So on behalf of Irma and myself, and on behalf of Michael's parents, Dari, Gail, and his stepmom, Asim, I want to thank you all for being here with us to divide this joy. Your presence here maximizes our joy value to its maximum. Thank you so much for being here. You guys, you're just those people you meet and everyone's just like, wow, you know, they're just meant for each other. They're, they're perfect. You guys are perfect for each other. There's no other way to describe it. And you both have accomplished so much separately, but together, you know, I know you guys are going to be unstoppable. And I know you guys have the biggest and brightest future ahead of you. And I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed and I love you guys. Because you're my sister, I'm not being biased, but you're the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. And Michael, you look so handsome. <laughs> Lonnie, you've become more than just my sister. You're my best friend. You know, you're my go-to person and the person I trust the most. And I'm I'm so lucky and I'm so blessed to have you as my sister, my best friend, and <laughs> my everything to me. It's basically the, it's the feeling these two have when you're around them. Everybody that comes in, anytime you hang out with them, it's just that feeling you just want to come back. So I come out maybe you know every six months or so, but hanging out with Mike and these two, it's like we just hung out the day before. Happy thoughts, your lights, no problems. You know, Gail and I really said and we felt that he was someone special. And we truly believed that. And we, it wasn't just that, you know, we said it because it was our son, but we kind of somehow had that in our heart that he was unique. He is beginning a new chapter in his life with the most beautiful, darling bride. Ileana, whom I just can't describe. I mean, it's unbelievable. You know, it's, it's like um, adding a second daughter, you know, to our family, and it is.
Lonnie was Daddy's little girl. My my wife and I, when uh, Lonnie was born, like all young parents who bemused the successes of their children, you know, we dream big. It was Daddy's little girl, you know, and and, and when she was born. Uh, and, and we would just stare at her when, when she, she slept. You couldn't keep your eyes off of her. You know, and she made us so proud. You can imagine how her mother and I felt. We were just so proud. And in, in Daddy's eyes, I mean, Ileana was too good to be true, too. Ileana era increíble también. You know, hold, you know, I'm here to tell you that there's nothing like, you know, a hug from, from your little girl. You just want to hold them so, so much. You, you know, and you want to just, you know, you, you, you thank God you're alive to watch them grow. Michael and Lonnie, my greatest wish for you is that through all your future years, your love for each other will so deepen and grow that years from now, you'll look back on this day, your wedding day, as the day you loved each other the least. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door but I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be I, Michael, take you, Ileana, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and will honor you all the days of my life. I, Ileana, take you, Michael, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you, in good times and in bad in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, Father Edward and I are pleased to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Dadashi. Michael, you may kiss your bride. Michael, I can't thank you enough for making Lonnie as happy as she is. You know, she have never seen her smile so much when she's with anyone else but you. And you just, you light up the room for everyone and you bring so much joy to our family. And you're just such a blessing to all of us. And we're all so, so happy you could be with us and we're so blessed for you.
I just want to say thank you so much for having me being a part of this, and I'm just proud to be a part of you guys, joining the whole family, and that's what this is all about, is our families coming together.